Hey, y'all. Okay. This young man that y'all are looking at right now is Kevin McGuigan, 21 years old. He has been arrested and charged for first-degree murder of his mother. Okay, and if that doesn't make it bad enough, he stabbed her to death outside of a Catholic church yesterday in Rockville, Maryland. You know, it is just, it makes me sick. It makes me sick to my stomach um, to know that, you know, things like this happen. And yes, you know, it happens too often. Um, it's, you know, things like this, of course, have been going on for a long time. But it seems to be occurring so much more now. And it just makes me wonder, what is going on with these kids? And yeah, he's a 21-year-old adult, 21-year-old man, okay? But I'm talking about millennial kids, period. What is going on? Because it seems to me, you know, from, I mean, I have kids. I have kids, too. My kids aren't perfect, you know? I have children, and and I've been around a lot of a lot of kids with mine growing up. I see kids every day, bad kids, good kids, but it just seems to me like I don't know. And, and anybody that y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? If y'all have been around children in the recent years, whether you have kids or not, you know what I'm talking about. A lot of these millennial kids. It's like they don't listen. They don't want to listen. And they have no fear. They have no fear at all. You know. And they have. They don't value. They don't value things. Very much. You know. It just. I don't get it. You know. But when I look at this young man's face right here. I see. I don't really see a whole lot. Like I see. Look at his eyes. He looks gone. Literally just gone. And I don't know. I mean, I, I see I see faces like this way too often. We all do. You know, look at the school shooters. They all have that same look. You know, I just I don't know. It just disgusts me to know. That anyone could take the life of their parent, especially their mother. Because, you know, a mother makes, well, you know, well, parents, period, okay, make sacrifices in their life for, for their children. But a mother makes a sacrifice as soon as she finds out she's pregnant. You know, from that moment on, you're making sacrifices, regardless of what your decision is, whether you have the child and keep it, have the child and give it up for adoption, or decide to not even have the child at all. You're, you're making sacrifices, okay? Because it's a lifelong decision, regardless of what you choose. So the mother, from the first moment of pregnancy, you are making sacrifices you're sacrificing your body you're sacrificing your your life you're sacrificing your feelings your your thoughts your your everything you know you're literally sacrificing everything for this kid regardless like i said regardless of what the decision is and it's so selfish to me for anyone to treat their parent like this and to take the life of their parent, the one who brought them into this world, you know, I just don't get it. And and that was his mother. I mean, I'm looking at this lady right here and me not knowing either one of them from, from anything. You know, all I know them from is this article. But I mean, I'm looking at this woman and you can see a motherly love when you look in this woman's eyes. You can see the love when you just look at her. At her presence in this picture. 
you know? And I'm sure that she loved her son with everything in her. And it just is so sad how how he just literally just took the li took her life instantly like that. You know, I'd love to know what happened. Um, not that it makes it excusable. It makes it doesn't make it excusable at all. But I'm just curious as to what triggered him to do such a terrible act. You know, did he plan this? Or was it something, you know, impulsive? I don't know. Okay, this article, I'm going to show y'all this video right here in just a second. Um, the article says a 21-year-old man has been charged in the fatal stabbing of his mother outside of Rockville, Maryland, Catholic Church. Jacqueline McGuigan of Marwood Court in Rockville was seen leaving her home with her son Friday night. 30 minutes later, police were responding to reports of a deadly assault at St. Raphael Church. Police say the 49-year-old mother appears to have been stabbed. Police arrested her son, Kevin Justin McGuigan, around 7 a.m. Saturday in Rockville gas at a gas station. He is charged with first-degree murder. Montgomery police say Jacqueline and her son drove from her home in Rockville about 5.30 p.m. Friday to the church on Dunster Road. According to police, witnesses reported hearing loud screaming from the front of the church and saw Kevin standing over his mother. Police responded about 6 p.m. to reports of an assault and found Jacqueline by the flagpole at the entrance of the church, bleeding and unresponsive. Police say she was likely attacked with a cutting instrument. Witnesses, officers, and first responders tried to help her, but she died at the scene, police say. Homicide detectives roped off the entrance to the church and looked for surveillance cameras inside and outside. Police say Kevin McGuigan fled the scene in a Honda sedan registered to his mother. Police found the abandoned Honda at Falls Grove Park less than an hour later. Kevin McGuigan's belongings were inside. Police didn't detail a motive in the killing. It occurred at a very public place at a busy time in the evening. So it's very concerning, said Rick Goodale, spokesperson for Montgomery County Police. In a statement to News 4, hmm, okay, I'm not really sure what that is, said Jacqueline's death did not appear to be connected to the church. At this time, we have little information on what happened, but the incident does not appear to be related to the parish or school. The parish staff were on site this evening, have been speaking with the police, and they are cons they are cooperating with the police investigation. We extend our heartfelt prayers to the individual's family. The church is across from Ritchie Park Elementary School and next door to an assisted living facility. Okay, so let's go up here and see this video real quick. You know... Like, I really don't even, I don't even know what to say about this. It just breaks my heart. So close to the holidays. You're literally in between Christmas and New Year's. You know, and I say this because I'm sure there were other family members. I'm sure she had friends. There were people that loved her, I'm sure. You know, they cared about her, loved her, and valued her her existence, you know, and the one person that should have valued it more than anything, her own child, robbed her of, of the, all of that and robbed everyone else of her existence because now people have lost their, their loved one. So here, let me, let me turn my mic off and we'll watch this video. A deadly stabbing in front of a Rockville church, and the suspect is the victim's own son. Good evening. I'm Erica Gonzalez. This morning, police arrested 21-year-old Kevin McGligan. News Force Darcy Spencer is live outside the church with new details in this disturbing, now homicide investigation. Darcy, what have we learned? 
Well, Erica, I was able to speak to a family member by phone, and she shared with me a photo of the victim. And I want to provide that to you right now and show our viewers who the victim was. Uh, her name was Jacqueline McGligan, and the family member says that she went by the nickname Jackie. She was the mother of three children, a recent breast cancer survivor having just finished her radiation over the summer months. And she was described as the rock of their family and that this is going to be a huge loss, not only to them, but of the community and that neighborhood. They're just in a state of shock trying to understand how and why this would happen, that she would allegedly be killed by her own son. Now, we want to show you a mugshot that was released by police earlier today of Kevin McLigan, her son. He, he's 21 years old, and police say he stabbed his mom right in front of St. Raphael Catholic Church in Rockville. That happened yesterday evening. Now, police say that he took off in her car. Now, they found that car abandoned later yesterday, and then he was arrested this morning right around 7 o'clock at a gas station in Rockville. He's currently being held without bond in jail on a first degree murder charge. Now there is a vigil mass that's taking place here at the Catholic Church at this hour. It's something that is held every Saturday at five o'clock, but certainly people here at this church and those showing up for this mass certainly praying for this family. The archdiocese put out a statement saying there's no known connection between this incident and the church and everyone just trying to figure out why this happened and why they ended up right in front of the church yesterday evening. Erica, back to you. Obviously, right, the big question, what could have possibly happened between the two of them for a story to end like that? Darcy Spencer live in Rockville for us tonight. Darcy, thank you. This is just terrible. Absolutely terrible. See, I didn't even know she was a... I didn't watch that video. I watched this one down here. Um, it's so sad. I didn't even... I didn't know that she was a breast cancer survivor. You know, I didn't know that she also had other children. So, you know, this boy has taken her from her other kids. You know, she just got done fighting for her life from breast cancer. And and now he's taking it. It just, that's what I'm saying, y'all. I, I don't understand. You know, and I'm not saying that all millennial kids are terrible. Obviously, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that. A lot more is happening with these kids than it was 20 years ago. You know, I just, I don't get it. What is it? Is it technology? I mean, that's the only thing I can really think of at this point. Maybe hormones? I don't know. But it's a scary, scary thought when you think about, you know, let's say 10, you know, anywhere from 10 to 20 years from now. These are the people that are going to take over the world or take over, you know, yeah, take over the world, basically, you know, and I see it a lot more here in America because this is where I live. I don't know how it is in other countries, you know, with their children or anything like that. I don't know. I can only speak of what I see here in the country that I live in, and these are the kids that are eventually going to grow up into, you know, adults. And they don't have to be a president or a senator or anything, you know, anything political. But, I mean, I already see it just going to places and they're behind a, a counter. I mean, I see people a lot of times, these young kids, a lot of times on their phones. They're rude. It's like they don't, they have no... No means of caring, and I just don't get it. 
You know, and, and like I said, they have no fear. A lot of them have no fear whatsoever. You can do whatever you want to them. They don't care. You know, so I know a lot of people, they're like, oh, yeah, that kid should have got their behind beat. What if it was a kid that that did, you know, was in a strict household and did get punished and all of that, and they still don't listen? I've seen that plenty of times. You know, and it's hard. It is really hard. Um, you know, raising these kids in these days and times. And... And it is scary. It is scary because they're subjected to so much more than what we were growing up. And, you know, people my age, I'm 38, you know, people, you know, that are my age and my generation growing up, we didn't see things like this often. You know, all the things that these kids are doing now, we didn't see things like this. We were not subjected to a lot of the things that these kids are today. And... I don't know. I don't understand what's going on, but this is a sad situation, a very sad story. And my heart just goes out to this family and these kids, you know, I don't know how old they are, but they're her kids, you know, to these kids who have lost their, their mother, you know, you only get one mother in a lifetime. That's it. One mom. I don't care if you have. I don't care what the situation is. You get one mother, you know, and, and that's it. When that's gone, you don't have another mom. You might have somebody that loves you like a mother or that might take care of you like a mom, but you only get one real mom in a whole lifetime, you know, and, and that's sad because I know I'm sure that this lady took very good care of her, her kid and it just, it breaks my heart, you know, to know that someone could repay her for the sacrifices that she made in her lifetime and repay her with death, you know, with, a, with murdering her, taking her life. It's so sad. So, y'all, leave your comments and feedback below. If y'all would like to send me anything, you can do so on my email. Or you can add me on Facebook and send whatever you like through there. If y'all have not subscribed to my other channel, please click on the link down below. Subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Till the next time I talk to y'all, have a wonderful night. And uh, Happy New Year. I love y'all.